So who are you? I want you to take your workbook and go to module number two and we're going to begin look at prima facie evidence, my life scene. Every one of us leave fingerprints around us every moment of every day. Not just physical fingerprints, but we leave around us emotional fingerprints, social fingerprints, spiritual fingerprints. Fingerprints that talk about our motives for doing things. So as we begin this module, you should have read already the introduction in my book, Life Scene Investigation, Forensics of Purpose, Passion and Performance. The introduction to the book, Introduction to Life Scene Investigation Forensics, Discovering Evidence of Design, LSI Evidence Defined and LSI Evidence Described. And that again gives you a good background to what we're going to be going through in this module number two. In module two, if you look down to the bottom of page one, you will see what's called the Lockhart Principle. Lockhart was essentially the father of modern day forensics. He was a French detective who came up with this saying that really described what is we're going to be doing throughout this entire process. And I want to read it to you because it's very, very important. And you'll see it's adapted, this Lockhart Principle is adapted for each area of evidence that we will look at down the road. And this is what it tells you because it's vital that you understand in this process of discovery that everywhere, at all times, in all places, you're leaving evidence. And that's what we're looking for. Evidence of your strengths. The things that best define you in the very best way. A strength is simply something that you can perform at a very high level of capacity on a consistent, regular basis. That's what a strength is. So that's what we're looking for. So this is what Lockhart said, and I've paraphrased it again to help us in the life scene investigation process understand what we're looking for. He said this, wherever you step, whatever you touch, whatever you leave, even unconsciously, will serve as an open witness for you. Not only your fingerprints or your footprints, but the calm your presence brings. The songs you sing, the baseballs you throw, the people you motivate, the piano you play, the time you take to study for an exam, the truth you hold to in the face of pressure, the photographs you take, the patient you heal, the self-control you demonstrate, the part you act in a play. All of these and more bear loud witness to your unique design, that is those strengths that define your DNA. This evidence, this is evidence that does not forget. It is not confused by the excitement of the moment. It is not absent because, because human witnesses are. It is factual evidence, physical, intellectual, social, emotional, and spiritual evidence, and also evidence of your motives. This evidence cannot be wrong. It cannot perjure itself. It doesn't lie against itself. It cannot be wholly absent. Only your failure to find it, to study it, to understand it, can diminish its value for you to discover what your purpose in this life is. It's a great definition and really describes what we're going to be doing in life scene investigation. On page two, I ask you to think about and I ask you to begin to understand what evidence did you leave around you today. And this exercise is really just very quick and I want you just to focus very quickly on it, not take much time. But when it says physical P trace, that's physical trace evidence. Trace evidence is anything you've left. It can be good and bad. It can be weak and be strong. It's for all types of evidence that you've left. So think back today in the last couple days. What is it that is best defined who you are physically? What is it, secondly, that best defines who you are intellectually? How did you use your mind in a way that was productive, that changed people's lives, that resulted in you getting a good grade in an exam? Thirdly, what about the social evidence that you've left around you? The people you connected with, the good text messages of encouragement that you sent, the way that you were able to associate, the people that you led. What is it about you socially and your connections to other people that define you in the very best way? And then lastly, what about emotional evidence? When is it that in a crisis during this past week, you controlled yourself and made, you know, in face of a major disappointment, you were able to go through that disappointment and not do something destructive to your life? So what is it that defines you? And then lastly, I want you to think about motive. What about your motives? What are you even doing in this class? Why are you even taking it? Obviously, the, the understanding of trying to discover who am I should be the purpose. But why are you trying to discover who am I? What is it you want to do with that evidence? The very basis of everything that we teach in LSI is that you have to give it away. That discovering who you are is not a self-serving or self-interested motivation. You do it because you want to know who you are so you can give it to other people. So what is it you hope to discover? 
So I want you to think through, I want you to journal through these thoughts. I want you to write down what those strengths are. Write down as many as you can. And then I also want you to understand, oh, not what you understand, but I want you to, to watch the video. And all you have to do is click on the little link there, if this is a PDF, or go to the file. And it's a song by Switchfoot, an incredible, incredible group that I love, and I love their music. And it's simply called Meant to Live. Listen to that song. Listen to the message that that song has. Begin to journal about it. Begin to ask yourself the question, do you want more than you had to this stage in life? Am I meant to live for something more than I'm already living for at this stage in my life? So we've begun this process, this incredible process of forensics. This is just a quick little exercise, nothing more than that, but I want you to focus on this. Who are you based on your strengths, on those unique capacities that define the very best of who you are? I'm not interested in things you're trying to fix in your life. I'm not interested in those failures that you've had in your life. What I'm interested in is those successes that we can demonstrate in history, those strengths that you've demonstrated, that you know that are prima facie obvious in your life, the things that other people look at you and say, I see it, it's there. No one can deny it. So begin this process, read those chapters, make sure you've read them again before you begin this process. And um, again, I'm interested in finding out who you are. I know who I am. When you begin to discover who you are, again, step by step, that picture of who you are, that life theory will begin to develop.